I'm damn sure that there's nothing going on in my head other than what is allowed by the laws of nature as we understand them. You might believe in ghosts and things like that, but let's think about it logically. If a ghost exists, it must carry an imprint of you, meaning it interacts with matter in some way. If it carries a pattern, it also carries information, and for information to persist, there has to be an energy source that allows it to continue existing. If ghosts can be seen, that means they interact with light. But we already know how light interacts with matter at an incredibly precise level. If a soul exists inside me, it would have to be a different kind of energy that science has not yet discovered. Over the years, physicists have spent decades making precise measurements of how matter behaves. We have identified four fundamental forces, gravity, the strong nuclear force, the weak nuclear force, and electromagnetism. We have searched extensively for a fifth force and found no evidence of it. But what if death isn't the end? New evidence suggests that consciousness might not simply vanish when we die. A quantum computer has made a discovery so shocking that even physicist Brian Cox was left stunned. Advanced AI models running on quantum processes have uncovered something that challenges everything we thought we knew about existence. Quantum mechanics has already proven that reality behaves in strange, unpredictable ways, but now, cutting-edge computing may have just provided evidence that life never truly ends. These mind-blowing findings might change everything. Could consciousness survive death? Drop your thoughts in the comments before we reveal the shocking truth. A groundbreaking quantum AI experiment delivered results so shocking that it challenged everything we thought we knew about consciousness. Scientists fed vast amounts of neurological and quantum data into the system, asking it to model how consciousness behaves at a fundamental level. The AI simulations produced an unexpected result. Consciousness didn't appear to be solely confined to the brain. Instead, the data suggested that it operates in a quantum state, much like subatomic particles that exist in multiple places at once. This meant that consciousness could theoretically persist beyond physical death, much like quantum information never truly disappears. The implications of this were staggering. Was human awareness part of a larger interconnected quantum field? If so, Death might not be the end but merely a transition to another state of existence. Brian Cox has long explored the intersection of quantum mechanics and human consciousness, but even he was caught off guard by the implications of this experiment. He has previously discussed the observer effect, a strange phenomenon in quantum physics where particles behave differently when they are observed. This suggests that consciousness plays a more fundamental role in shaping reality than we currently understand. If consciousness truly interacts with the quantum world, it could mean that human awareness isn't just a product of the brain but something far more complex. While Cox remains skeptical, he admits that physics hasn't yet provided a definitive answer on where consciousness begins and ends. Do you think consciousness affects reality? Or is it just a byproduct of the brain? If reality is just quantum information at its core, could we be living in a simulation? Some scientists believe that the laws of physics behave eerily like a program system, with quantum computing revealing patterns that resemble digital processing. The idea suggests that our consciousness might not be an emergent property of the brain, but rather an integral part of a vast computational framework. Quantum AI models have uncovered mathematical structures in the fabric of reality that mirror how digital simulations function, raising the question, are we experiencing a constructed reality rather than an objective universe? If so, the implications for life and death are profound. If consciousness exists within this system, could it be transferred, copied, or even exist independently of the physical world? Some physicists argue that if reality itself is encoded information, death might not be an end but simply a transition within the system. If consciousness is truly quantum in nature, could it shift between realities rather than ceasing to exist? Some believe the multiverse theory offers an answer. This concept suggests that every possible outcome of an event creates a new branch of reality, 
meaning that death in one universe might not be the end. It could simply be a transition to another timeline. Schrodinger's famous cat experiment, where a cat is both alive and dead until observed, supports the idea that multiple states can exist simultaneously. Quantum entanglement is one of the strangest phenomena in physics, where two particles remain connected no matter how far apart they are, instantly affecting each other. Some researchers speculate that consciousness might operate in a similar way, entangled across dimensions or even different realities. While Brian Cox remains skeptical, he acknowledges that quantum mechanics is far from fully understood. He often points out that the universe behaves in ways that defy intuition, and the observer effect suggests that consciousness plays a fundamental role in shaping reality. However, he emphasizes that while quantum mechanics allows for strange possibilities, it does not yet provide concrete evidence for life after death. As quantum computing advances, some researchers believe we may one day be able to preserve human consciousness digitally. The idea stems from the possibility that consciousness is not just a product of the brain, but an information-based process that could be mapped, stored, and even transferred. This raises profound questions. If consciousness could be preserved outside the human body, would it still be us, or would it simply be a highly advanced simulation? Even with all this evidence, many questions remain unanswered. Could science eventually prove what ancient philosophies and spiritual traditions have speculated for centuries? Subscribe to our channel and thanks for watching.